Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again, and in this video, I'm going to talk about an interesting DAX challenge. Now, recently, I was working with some SaaS business data, and I encountered an interesting problem. I thought it would be a nice problem for people to solve as a DAX challenge, and hence this problem for you. Now, if you don't know what a SaaS business is, let me just give you two lines about it. Let's just say that there is a company that creates these software products and digital products for people to use, and people, instead of buying that products outright, they can pay a rent, a monthly rent, or a weekly rent, or an annual rent to use that product and avail that service. So that is what a SaaS business is. It's software as a service. Now let's just take a look at the data and the problem that you actually have to solve. Okay, so I'm in the Excel file that contains the data and let me give you a quick understanding of the data so that you can work with this better. So the first column here is the transaction date column. When did the transaction happen? The second column is the transaction ID column, which is the unique identifier for every single row. One single row means one single transaction. The customer's email, the customer's user ID or the user ID that I'm allocating to one single customer in the database to identify every single customer. We have the name of the product, what product are we selling to the customer and the version of the product because the the customer can choose to have a basic version or a professional version of the software. Now, apart from these standard columns that we have, we also have some notes that will improve your understanding about the data. The first note here is that every single row means one single transaction. One single transaction means one instance of money received from the customer. That's what one single row means. Next, the customer can only pay you once per product Per month because we are collecting the money every single month as a monthly rent so the customer can only pay you once per month per product right each product can have two version it can have the basic version of the product or the professional version of the product and the customer can choose to be on either one of them all right here is the problem that you have to solve now you have to find the number of upgrades that happen every single month now what do i mean by an upgrade let's just say that if i am a customer and for a period of three months i was on the basic version of the product and i decide to move to the professional version of the product the next month i would be considered as an upgrade so an upgrade is when the customer moves from the basic version to the professional version of the product the next month that is considered as an upgrade all right that was too much of a hint that's the question that you actually have to solve for okay so once you have solved it how would you get to know that your answer is correct so you can match your solutions to my solution and my solution i will obviously discuss in the next video so here is my solution we have a simple month and the year column here and against every single month i have mentioned the number or the count of upgrades that happen in every single month now my solution is obviously sliceable by any of the columns in my SaaS data and so should your answers be now a couple of rules to just finally close this rule number one is that you have to solve this using power bi i do not expect you to solve this using excel upload the data into power bi and just make a visual out of it that's not what i'm expecting solve it using power bi you are free to use power query you're free to use dax a helper column if you want to create a date table you can also do that but just use power bi now i will definitely give a brownie and a bonus point to everybody who just uh, maintains the data structure as it is and solves it using just one single measure. All right, so the way that we always do it, I'm gonna give a big shout out to everybody who participates and posts the right answer in the comments. And obviously you have all the links underneath the video for you to work with. And I will see you once again in the solution video. Thanks so much for watching this. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments and I'll see you once again the next time, bye.